Well, it's the return of our series Unsolved. And this morning's case involves a little girl's body found in a duffel bag in the woods of rural Georgia. 35 years later, her identity still remains a mystery, as does her cause of death. Katie Jeffries reports from Ware County. It is a case that still resonates with investigators in Ware County. The innocence of a young child and the callous way she was dumped. Now, more than 30 years later, they are still trying to figure out who she was. It is a desolate area, wooded and quiet, about a mile down Duncan Bridge Road, just outside of Waycross, Georgia. Somebody put this little girl out here to be sure that she wasn't found. A place known for dumping trash or other unwanted items, rarely visited by people. But just four days before Christmas in 1988, a timber worker was walking through the woods when he saw a TV cabinet lying on the ground. He started um, looking at the cabinet and realized that there was human remains inside the cabinet and they called the Ware County Sheriff's Office. Georgia Bureau of Investigation Special Agent in Charge, Jason Sechrist, is now working the case. He says deputies responded and found the skeletal remains of a little girl, believed to be between three to five years old, inside a duffel bag, inside a suitcase, in the TV cabinet. It's believed the little girl had been dead two to three months before she was found. She's believed to be African American and was found in a white knit pullover shirt with a red pony emblem on the upper left chest, white thermal pajama bottoms with a maroon trim, and wearing a disposable diaper. A search of the area began, but with it being an illegal dump site, it made it more challenging. Which makes it hard to identify what's relevant to, um, the, to, to the remains that were found and what's just trash that folks have been throwing out here. Deputies also checked for any reports of missing children. None at that time had been reported in Ware County. There was also a paper from the Albany area near the remains. They checked there too, and still no reports of missing children. The search was extended to multiple states, but still no missing child reports that matched the little girl. The case in time went cold, but then came the advancement of genetic genealogy. About two years ago, Agent Seacrest says that they tried genetic genealogy in this case, but it didn't lead to any major breakthroughs. So we have gotten some, what I would call some weak links to follow, follow through on, but we could really use some help in giving us some direction um, through a tip or through anything else to see to see if we can identify who this little girl is. He hopes that by bringing this case back into the spotlight, someone out there might remember a little girl who seemed to vanish 35 years ago. Uh, that just went missing and that uh, a parent gave a really unusual explanation that they just found hard to believe and I think all these years it's probably eaten at them and now they're thinking, you know, what happened to that girl? As for how the little girl died, that is just one of the many questions in this case. But Agent Seacrest says multiple GBI agents and the Ware County Sheriff's Office have worked this case over the years. By no means has it been forgotten, nor will it ever be, until they get answers. A child holds a special place in any investigator's heart. Um, they are so innocent and, and can't protect themselves. You know, we, we, we want to provide justice for that child. We want to identify that child. Um, that child is a person and, and deserves to be identified. And, and, and there's family members that I know want to know what happened, that to this day still, still think about that little girl that they haven't seen for 30 years. Uh, and, and they want to know what happened, and we want to be able to provide those answers. If you have any information about this case or you think you know who the little girl could be, you're urged to call the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Katie Jeffries, First Coast News, on your side.